The persecution of Christians in the world has reached truly alarming proportions. We have seen unimaginable violence carried out in the name of religion. Acts of wanton slaughter against religious minorities, horrors on a scale that defy description. Terrorism is a fundamental threat to religious freedom. It must be stopped and it will be stopped. Mutual respect and peaceful coexistence as a condition of interreligious peace and stability was the theme of this high-level conference on March 7th at the UN in Geneva on the sidelines of the 34th session of the UN Human Rights Council. Persecutions of this kind strike regularly somewhere in the world and being martyred for Christ is a permanent aspect of Christian life. I came um, to give uh, hope to this uh, difficult situation of the Christians uh, of uh, the Middle East. Without a decision of the Iraqi government or the international community to protect the Christian community, certainly the flow of Christians who are leaving the country will continue. The conference was organized by eight countries, including Russia, the Vatican and Hungary. If you have a look at um, conclusions or resolutions of European Union um, uh, documents, or even UN documents, or documents of any other international organizations, I can, I can offer a bet, because I know the EU conclusions. You will hardly find the expression protection of Christians. What you will find? Protection of uh, minorities, protection of various groups, maybe sometimes protection of religious groups but you will never find protection of Christians. This conference is important for me as Muslim, as we understand that today's world is like a pipeline system. Everything is connected. So if we don't protect our Christian brothers in Syria, for example, and in other places, it will have also an impact on Muslims. As the Apostle John instructs, you cannot love God if you do not have love towards your brother. For this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God loves his brother also. During the conference it was often referred to the joint statement signed last year in Havana by the Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia, Kirill and Pope Francis, calling on the international community to take immediate action to stop the mass exodus of Christians from Middle Eastern countries. My own view is that um, when we talk about fanaticism, when we talk about uh, religious fundamentalism, Islamic fundamentalism, uh, one phenomenon which I tried to draw attention to is the role played by secularism, by aggressive militant secularism, in creating the conditions, particularly in Europe. The permanent observer of the Holy See to the United Nations in Geneva called on participants to recognize religious freedom as a fundamental human right. The tendency towards globalization is good. It can be noble. But if, if it pretends to make us all the same, it destroys the uniqueness of each people and each person. We live in a world subject to the globalization of the technocratic paradigm which consciously aims at a one-dimensional uniformity and seeks to eliminate all differences and traditions in a superficial quest for the unity. This is a very complex thing, you know, which happened everywhere, probably in the other continents also. You see so-called, they say, called liberal society, but the liberal society is not a problem. You know, freedom is freedom, you know. The problem is just how to define the role of religion and whether you, being a religious, sh should have the same visibility in the public life as the others. All the panelists agreed that the knowledge about the Christian religion, as well as learning the basics of other religious doctrines, can save many people from falling into the trap of extremist ideology.